Hello and welcome back to my channel. I have a live video for you this morning. I decided to have a chat through of my 10 go-to budget keto foods. These are foods that I put in my shopping trolley that I buy week in, week out, that I'll budget because, you know, I'm a family of four. We've got to kind of stick to a budget and I, I thought I'd share some of my tips and tricks and talk through all the foods that I buy on a regular basis, what I do with them, give you some meal ideas. So let's just get straight into it, starting with beef mince. Beef mince is just the ultimate and what's really awesome, because we're low carb, high fat, um, we we can get away with buying cheap beef mince. This is four dollars, um, and because the lower the uh, with the better the quality of the mince. If you buy five star or lean or um all of those, they are more expensive, and we want it with more fat. So four dollars for three star. And look at that beautiful fat on it. And what do I do with my beef mince? I either make burgers, egg roll in a bowl. Um, I. There's so many yummy ways. Bolognese, there's just so many things to do that it can go really far and feed the whole family for $4, which is really awesome. And next, we are moving on to item number two, which is sausages. Um, I, I found these grass, grass-fed ones. They're a little higher in carbs than the other ones. There's about four grams per carbs, but there's only a few There's only a few in here, and I'll share them with the whole family. We might have one, one and a half, something like that. Um. So I've got my sausages, and sausages are another cheap one. These ones are a tiny bit more expensive, but I often they often have on sale two packages for $10, which is just an awesome bargain. And there's so many things. You could have bangers and cauliflower mash to make sausages with cauliflower mash. Um, I'll just have sausages and have a bit of sour cream and grated cheese on the side, and I'm very happy. You can have them for breakfast with fried eggs. So many yummy, yummy uses for sausages. And next, I've got chicken legs. Um, don't go that oh depends on the recipe but you I tend to avoid having thighs and breasts I would rather go for the legs or a whole chicken and um, so I've got these whole chicken legs and there are so many uses and it's so cheap look five five dollars fifty a kilo this whole package six dollars sixty four and that will go a long way to feeding the four of us and probably have leftovers as well so what I is at these ones make making chicken soup with so I'm going to just bubble them up with water um and yeah, um, bubble them up in water with maybe a bit of carrot, onion and garlic for some flavor. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I am in Australia and I confuse everybody with my accent. So I'm just trying to respond, like watch the comments. Um, I am South African originally and I've lived in Australia for 20 years. Um, so my accent is all over the place. My husband is English and my children are very confusing Australian, English, South African accents. So yes, I live in Australia in Melbourne. Um, so this was a shop from Melbourne, likely. Um, so yeah, but you all the products I get, you could obviously find anywhere. It's just these are the brands in Melbourne. Um, so yeah, chicken legs, really awesome budget friendly um item um and we'll just keep going through the proteins i've got in the back there i don't even know if you can see at the back i will bring forward my eggs i have eggs every single day for breakfast in one way or another i um i'm gonna uh, it's still it's early morning here in melbourne i haven't even had breakfast yet what's the time 8 34 a.m i haven't had breakfast yet i wanted to get this filming done first um so um, yeah, someone said cook the chicken legs in large, check butter bob channel. Oh, that sounds yum. I'm going to give that a look. Um, so I've got my chicken, my chicken, my eggs. <laughs> what came first, the chicken or the eggs? Um, I've got my eggs. Um, I'm having, I have fried eggs, scrambled eggs. If you check my full day of eating videos and I've got heaps of videos about breakfast, I, yeah, so many yummy ways to have breakfast and it's such a, these are all just budget friendly. These are my favorite budget, budget friendly eggs. I, pretty cheap and make an awesome breakfast and next we've got tins of tuna this is yellowfin tuna chunks but really any tuna will do i like ones when they say they're pollen line caught these usually say it somewhere i don't know where it says it but these are the ones i always get um so yeah just tuna i'll often have usually have tuna salads for lunch or dinner or yeah tuna it's there's zero carb in it and it's full of good protein so often I've, I've said in the past instead of having protein powder I'll have a tin of tuna if I know I really need 
protein, extra protein for the day. But it's such a cheap, easy base for a meal that you can mix through with other ingredients. Um, and I'll talk a bit about veggies as well. So um, lettuce, obviously it's cheaper to buy a whole lettuce than a whole lettuce than spinach leaves, which I often do as well. So I'm definitely um, guilty of that. But a whole lettuce is awesome. Um, and veggies i just put these two as examples, cucumber and mushrooms, but really just buy in season. At the moment, I've found cow, which I love, are $6, and they're they're like that size. Teeny little cauliflowers for $6. Um, so I absolutely, um, yeah, very rarely. I've heard tuna can have high levels of mercury. That's if you eat it every single meal for every single day. If you have it a few times a week, you'll be okay, but obviously look into it and make a decision for yourself. It's, it's the levels are really, if you go in absolute, yeah, crazy amounts of tuna. Um, so yeah, even having a tin like that every day, I don't believe it should pose too much of an issue. Um, but yeah, look into it for yourself and make your own happy decisions. Um, so yeah, with vegetables, I go, in go in season you'll find whatever's in season will be the um, most economical and most budget friendly and then just cook with what you've got at the moment i'm having heaps of mushrooms um cucumber and um, all the winter veg have come out and i've actually been having little teeny bits of pumpkin even though lots of pumpkin isn't low carb when i make my chicken soup i might just put like half a cup of chopped pumpkin in for the four of us so it's just a little bit and it I'm happy having that to still have a little bit of winter veg since there's not much in season at the moment. Um, moving through to my dairy, I oh. butter always. <laughs> I actually ran out of butter the other day. So when I went shopping yesterday, I got a few squares, a few um, piece things of butter in my mind today. Um, I have butter in my hot chocolate. I cook with butter. I use butter for absolutely everything. And moving through to my creams. Thicken cream, sour cream. I mean, I usually buy it in bulk. But for some reason, I've been having more mayo than sour cream lately. So also, if you're going to buy a big one, you're not going to get through it. Don't get a big one. But So I've got a smaller one because for me, it'll be more economical because I have lots of mayo. I go through different phases. I've been having lots of mayo lately. So I haven't had as much sour cream. So sour cream and thickened cream. You can make meals, low-carb or high-fat meals, just with these 10 items. Oh, sorry, leaving across. This is what happens when it's live and there's no editing. Um, and my final ingredient, one of my favorite of all, is cheese. Grated cheese. Yeah, I could grate it myself, but I also I like it to be quick, easy, and it takes a while usually to get through a whole bag of cheese. I've got, it's a massive, massive bag. And with cheese, I, as I said, I had it with sausages. The other day I shared cheese tacos. I have, I make the little cheese chips. I'll just have cheese with so much, just frying up cheese. Frying up mushrooms, um, add tuna and some cheese. That's a yummy meal. Um, but so there you go. You can mix and match. That's my 10 kind of go-to items that are low-carb, high-fat friendly, and most important, budget friendly. So if you're on a budget and you want to go keto, saying that you don't have enough money is no excuse because these are such reasonable such cheap ingredients and if you're buying fruit vegetables or vegetables in season that's the thing at the moment strawberries aren't in season so i'm not going to go pay six dollars for a teeny little um for a teeny little carton i'm just saying nope i'll wait until it gets warm again to do strawberries again so there you go thank you so much for watching this spontaneous live video of 10 budget keto foods make sure that you leave a like and subscribe for more inspiration and we'll see you again tomorrow bye